the shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens there shined a holy light. Everybody ought to go and tell it. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, rude of me. You caught me singing just a little bit of go. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go, go, tell it on the mountain. Tell what from the mountaintops? That Jesus Christ is born. I'm excited. This is the Bible says this. What say you? The Christmas edition. Now I've talked to you about uh, uh, the Christmas, the Chrismon, the paradise tree and why we should have it and why it is allowed. I've talked to you about the real St. Nicholas, that mighty man of God who through his generosity did things that were so generous uh, that it became the legend of folklore. He became uh, uh, a man that uh, they drew a cartoon after. And we got this, uh, this, this fat guy today who, was, uh, who, who came from the great deeds of the real St. Nicholas. Also, we have talked about uh, whether or not Christmas should be celebrated. Of course it uh, should, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. And today I want to, in this segment, I want to talk to you about as to whether or not, you know, it matters that we celebrate Christmas on December the 25th, whether we're celebrating a day that was heretofore, the winter solstice, so we Christianized a pagan holiday, or could it be that the pagans have tried to paganize a Christian observance? I say to some of you Christians out there, we give ground too quickly. You know, we don't want to celebrate Christmas on December 25th because we don't know when Jesus was born, and besides, uh, this is a day that was set aside for something else anyway, and so we shouldn't even celebrate it. Humbug! Stop being a Scrooge. Get, in the, get, get into the spirit and enjoy this time of the year. It's a marvelous time. The world is trying to ruin it, though. You see commercials, man, they, uh, Gary, they put themselves in pretzels. They bend themselves in pretzels, not to say Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Honda Day. Uh, what is this other uh, car they got outside? The name of it sounds like Honda. The, uh, 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 what, what do you call it? Uh, you, got the, you got the Honda, you got the Hyundai. Yeah, they, thank you, Patricia. Uh, happy uh, ha, ha, Hyundai, happy whatever. Listen, it's Christmas time. It is the only federally recognized holiday in the month of December. And Christmas, as I said a few segments before, Merry Christmas is not a dirty word. I'm amazed at all these people who feign and they fake outrage. I'm, I have been a Offended. You you pretend to be offended because someone says to you, Merry Christmas at Christmas time. You are a hypocrite. You 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 I don't know. I, I want to call you something worse, but I can't. That's terrible. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's Christmas time. And uh, you're not offended when uh, Zales run the commercials showing two women getting married, are you? You're not offended by some of these skin cream commercials and with some of the side effects Gary they talk about, I'm convinced that the, the cure might be worse than the disease. You know, when they give the list of side effects, your jaw might drop off, your head may explode. If you use this cream, it'll take away the rash, but your ears may drop off. I think I'll take my chances with the rash and just wear long sleeves. <laughs> you get my point. But my point is, they're showing all this perversion and all of this wickedness, men marrying men, women with women, all this kind of uh, wicked homosexual stuff, and we call that enlightenment and tolerance and how big we are and how brave we are. And, and you get a presidential medal of freedom uh, for coming out uh, and, and, and declaring that you are a, a, a lesbian, uh, but the young lady tells the story herself that the way she was brought into that wicked lifestyle was that she was abused by one of her mom's multiple husbands. And yet we celebrate perversion, but we're offended, offended at Christmas time by the greeting, uh, the salutation, 
Merry Christmas. This is a messed up world. It's the spirit of Antichrist. And I'm here to tell you, my friends, that it's not right. And, uh, and I pray that every Christian out there uh, tell people, when you greet people, say Merry Christmas. I got a text the other day from a friend. He, he, <laughs> the man wished me a happy, happy holidays. I couldn't believe it. He says, happy holidays or season greetings. Season greetings, that's what it was. Season's greetings. So I texted him back. Hey, friend, good to hear from you. But down here at the upper room, we do not celebrate the seasons, nor do we celebrate the holidays. We celebrate the birth of Christ. And he sent me a, a marvelous Merry Christmas. And I, I, I felt so good. And I gave him a Merry Christmas. Hey, y'all keep that season's greeting stuff, okay? That's for the birds. Happy holidays for the birds. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Now. Let's talk about uh, the day. Let's look at this for a few minutes, you know. Uh, this, is the, this is the Bible says this. What say you? Psalm 33, verse 4, the word of the Lord is right. This is our Christmas edition, if I didn't tell you in the opening. I'm so fired up. I, I may have uh, omitted to give you my signature call. Now, I've been uh, studying the work. I, I look at men like Alvin J. Smith, uh, uh, Peter uh, Bertolio, and, and uh, a charisma magazines, just just great work on the subject. And we've been reading the Bible and, and inserting things. And uh, this notion about uh, December the uh, the sixth, uh, December the twenty fifth. I got December the sixth on my mind because that is the the, the date that the real Saint Nicholas actually died. And uh, also, it is the date that Pam and I uh, were married. Nicholas died some. Uh, 342 to 352 A.D. on December the 6th. Pam and I was married 36 years ago on December the 6th. So I still got this December the 6th thing on my mind. We just celebrated 30, 36 years and we're excited about that. But let me, let me read this to you. I'm running out of time here. A widely held opinion is that Christ was not born on December the 25th. Many uh, believe we celebrate... Uh, Christmas on December the 25th because the third century church Christianized the date which some pagan festivals observed and that was the uh, the winter solstice. The truth is that Roman Emperor Aurelian passed an edict in AD 247 establishing the festivals of Annalis Solstice Inventi which was the birthday of the unconquerable sun. While dedicating the temple, but such notable church fathers as Tertullian and Augustine were convinced that Christmas preceded the pagan holiday, that Christmas preceded that pagan holiday, Alvin J. Smith, in his scholarly work, and Alvin is, is, a, is an amazing writer, uh, in his, his, his book, Under the Influence, states that in northern Africa, Christians were already celebrating the birth date of Jesus uh, on December the 25th uh, in A.D. 243, 30 years before Aurelian's edict. If this is true, it wasn't Christianity that Christianized a pagan festival, but it was the pagan emperor attempting to paganize a Christian festival that predated it by 30 years. By 30 years, the, uh, the Christians were celebrating 30 years prior to there ever being a winter solstice, Christians, check this out, black folk, North African Christians were celebrating the birth of Christ. And some of you uh, Christians out there of the darker hue, some of you, my Christian brothers and sisters, my African-American Christian brothers and sisters, sometimes you behave as though celebrating Christmas is not a black thing. It's as black as can be, it's as white as can be, it's as Asian as, as can be, as Hispanic as can be. Remember, when Christ was born, this was good news for all people. The angel said uh, in, in Luke 2 and 10, it says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of joy, which shall be to all people. 
Jesus is for everybody. Jesus died for everybody. And the world should celebrate his birth. I'm not going to let atheists nor agnostics nor those who practice other false religions, because I believe the only true religion is biblical Christianity. I'm not going to let any of them t talk me into not enjoying this time of the year. Now, another objection is that, uh, uh, that uh, the argument that you know, Christ couldn't have been born in December, it couldn't have been on December the 25th, because shepherds did not keep their flocks out past the month of October. All right? That, uh, uh, so, if, you know, and, and if the angel appeared to shepherds, and if it was around December 25th, uh, then what's going on? Because, you know, December comes after October, you know, you got December, uh, you got October, November and then December. So if the if the flock if the shepherds didn't keep their flocks out after October, then what is Luke chapter two verse eight talking about? If December the twenty fifth is a good day to celebrate, well, uh, Elderstein, um, a noted writer, claims that there were shepherds at a place called uh, Megadal Elder near Bethlehem who were commissioned by the Jewish priests to keep temple flocks in a specific pasture land year round, year round. Their demanding duties prevented them from uh, participating in religious observances, taking as his source the Mishnah, and the Mishnah is the book of Jewish oral traditions, Elderstein, Eldersheim, excuse me, writes that specific passages lead us to infer that these flocks lay out all year round. The shepherds who watched them could not worship and learn about God at the temple. So God chose them, the ones who worked overtime, the ones who worked those flocks year round. God chose them to be the first ones to see the newborn lamb and to hear the glorious message. Now, just, just let me say this to you, my friends, for the record. As far as Brother Wooden is concerned, it doesn't matter to me whether Jesus Christ was born in January, whether our Lord was born in February, March, April, May, June, July, you know, any of the months, August, September, October, November, December. Here's what we know. We know that Jesus Christ was born. I believe I joined the North Africans. I believe that December the 25th is the appropriate time. I love this time of the year. But my Savior was born, and I celebrate with great joy the birth of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I think it's an amazing thing that God would love us so much that he would find Mary and select her and says, Hail Mary, thou art uh, chosen. You are exalted above women because you're going to, you've been chosen to bring Jesus into this world. I want to wish everybody out there a Merry Christmas. I want to say Happy New Year to you. I want you to make this Christmas time great. Christmas, the word originally, Christ gathering, or here's a better word, Christ masses. We Christ masses enjoy any mass, any gathering that is done in his name. We're going to gather on Sunday and we're going to celebrate even this year. Christmas Day is on a Sunday. We will have church at the upper room. Come and join us. We Christ masters are going to join together and have a wonderful Christ mass service. Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year. May God's choice blessings be yours.